Hi guys, the House of Commons hooligan Jonathan Gullis had a bit of a social media meltdown after a question was asked on its Facebook page. The Tory MP attacked Twitter or X, claiming that it's full of lefties pushing all sorts of positions which aren't based on reality, and he listed them off. I think we're close to the end of his time in Parliament if current polling is to be believed, and perhaps it's getting to Jonathan, and more meltdowns like this are on the way. Have a listen to this. I see Claire again is back. Why am I not on Twitter? Well, Twitter is actually called Twitter in my office because it's full of lefty morons who moan and groan about things that aren't simply uh, important. I'd rather speak to Bob from Stoke than Bartholomew from London. I've got no interest in what the left have to say on Twitter. In fact, you'll find it quite funny when Labour councillors moan and groan that I'm using Facebook because it's my safe space, but they put it on Twitter. Why don't they come on Facebook and tag me on there and actually see what where I'm up to at the end of the day? And they can write to me if they want. But it's a shame they never reply to my emails when I ask them questions. I'm not going on a, uh, I'm not interested in what Twitter has to say. It doesn't represent the United Kingdom. If I believe Twitter, Jeremy Corbyn, Prime Minister, we remained in the uh, EU and uh, apparently um, the world uh, is the worst place to ever live. And I don't know, next will be telling us that we all need to ex uh, evacuate to the moon urgently. I'm more interested in speaking to people who are actually from Stoke-on-Trent North. People go, well, they're not all from Stoke-on-Trent North. I know for a fact 62% of everyone who likes my page are from Stoke-on-Trent, Newcastle's Lyme or Kidsgrove because I check that data, which means at least I'm speaking to three to 4,000 of you who are from my local area. And if other people choose to follow me, they can do. So Claire, please go and bore off. Um... Okay, um, <laughs> a few things to say about this. I don't know if this is a real meltdown or he's pretending. I, I, it sounds authentic. It sounds like somebody who's desperate. He doesn't want to interact on, on Twitter. He wants to interact on Facebook where he can sort of curate, um, he can moderate the discussion. Because if it's his page, he can kick people off, he can ban them, he can delete their comments. He can't do that on other social media platforms like Twitter. He can block people, but he can't, um, he can't curate the discussion as he can on Facebook. And of course, on Facebook, he can present himself as somebody who's working hard for the people of his constituency, and he can filter out any complaints. So, you know, if you're liking his page, you're already a supporter of Jonathan Gules. Um So it, it, this is the difference between these two social media platforms. But when it comes to what, he's come, what he said about Twitter, it doesn't represent the United Kingdom. What the hell does that mean? It, nobody's claiming that it does. It's a social media platform. It's a worldwide social media platform. So I don't know what he means by it doesn't represent the United Kingdom. And then some of the crazy conspiracy theories of his, um, Jeremy Corbyn is still prime minister. Who claims Jeremy Corbyn is prime minister? I don't even think Jeremy Corbyn's crazy brother believes that Jeremy is prime minister. Honestly, who's claiming that he is? That Britain is still a member of the European Union. He also mentioned that. Um, well, there are a group of people called rejoiners. So why would you rejoin something if you haven't left? And finally, the thing about moving to the moon. So people are concerned about the environment. Maybe they're not concerned about the environment on his Facebook page. So why should we care about the environment? Nobody in my constituency on my Facebook page cares about the environment. So let's uh, just ignore that. Jonathan is likely to be kicked out at the ne next general election. No amount of uh, attempting to curate a, a Facebook following is going to save him. Now, I do think it's important that politicians interact with their constituents, that they listen to questions asked, they try to um, provide answers. If you can't do it in Parliament, if you can't do it in person, do it on social media. I think it's a wonderful tool and more politicians should use it but not like this. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.